It doesn't have to be October to have an October fest. They're already popping up around the area. WGN's Christine Flores went to one on the north side where food, fun, and of course beer are flowing this weekend. Everything Bavarian will be showcased at Oktoberfest Chicago at St. Alphonsus Church in Lakeview, a parish founded by German immigrants in 1882. This is our 21st year and uh, we're very excited to offer brats and beer and bands and music and lots of fun for everybody to come out and enjoy and it's a, the weather's beautiful. The event returns from noon to 10 on Saturday and noon to 7 on Sunday with its seasonal revelry, which includes their specialty brats. So the recipe comes from a family that moved here from Germany many years ago, generations ago, and so they were they were butchers and so they had this special Bavarian authentic recipe and so that's what we still use when we have our brats made for this fest. And even some unique bites like baked cheese or raclette. Heating up the bread a little bit. Uh, I'll wait like for, for around 20, 30 seconds uh, till it gets like a warm. Okay. And we want the bread to be soft a little bit. Okay. Once it's gonna be ready, we're gonna melt the cheese. The church is also hosting a craft beer tasting from four to seven on Saturday evening for $40 a ticket, which includes samples and a souvenir tasting glass. We have 30 beers to choose from and you'll get 15 tastings in these fun beers. little glasses. Yeah, so, uh, you know, prepare yourself, take your time. But what we really like to have is a wide selection. So we've got some Oktoberfest beers, we've got some, a couple ciders, stouts across the board. So it's a really fun event. This on top of two stages with bands like 16 Candles and School of Rock. They'll also have a gift shop with steins, bottle openers, and other merch. You can also compete in stein hoisting. Just note, Father Bauer, who's a German priest of this Catholic church, reminds you it's a sin to spill beer within the grounds. Reporting in Lakeview, Christine Flores, WGN News.